build the house, they labor in vain. Unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain, right? Do you agree with that? I do agree. Well, you heard what the question I asked him, right? No, I didn't. I just walked out. Okay, cool, cool. Um, what do you think about the Black Lives Matter? What do you think about that movie? Um, what's your personal opinion? My personal opinion is... We, th we think it's garbage. It's a waste of time. Yeah. Oh, so, I, I believe it is too. I think it's more of a mark. Like, you know, I think it's a mark. A mark. All right. Let's, let's go to... Let's get that scripture one more time. I see we could agree on one thing. Let's get that scripture again. One, two, three, seven, this one. Let me show you why we think it's garbage. It's nonsense. Read definitely. From the Psalms, chapter 127, right. verse 1. Right. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe? I do. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I'm great. Follow that. Read that definitely. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. The Black Lives Matter movement was not built on the foundation of the Heavenly Father, the Most High God. Read, read it again. Except the Lord, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. They labor in vain. They're screaming and yelling, doing all these spectacles in vain. Right. Because it's not built on the Most High. Is the Most High God about assimilation? Is he about everybody just being one up in front? The most I got about that to, to your knowledge. Everybody coming together and holding hands. Yeah, yeah, we are the people race. Okay. Is that according to the Bible? According to the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. Give me Deuteronomy 32 verse 8. Let me show you something. A lot of the so called Negroes, Hispanics, they're marching with your people, and you guys are the and I'm not saying you, I don't, I don't know your background. And the so called Caucasians are the same ones throwing them in jail, giving them drugs, and murdering them. But let's, let's read that scripture. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy. 32 verse 8. That's the most high God is about unity. One race, one group of time. Read. When the most high divided to the nations. What did we did? What? When the most high divided to the nations. The most high divided the nations. Read. Their inheritance. Right. When he separated the when sons. When he did what? When he separated the sons of God, Adam. God separated the sons of Adam. He never dealt with everybody being all one together. When this is the last stand. The most high never been about this. Read. He set the bounds right. of the people right. according to the number of the children of Israel. According to the number of the children of Israel. The people that's been slain in the streets, the people that's thrown in the jail, the people that's been oppressed throughout history, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, they're God's chosen people. That's why they get slain in the streets. They never will prosper until they come back into God's commandments. Now, I know if you've been taught you know, through history, through which your whole brother can talk or maybe uh, are you so called Caucasian or you, or you were born in America? I don't know you So you're so called Caucasian, right? That's what they teach us and teach your people in school. Is that, were you, would you find Caucasian in the Bible? No. No, so let's find out who you are according to the Bible. Genesis 25 to the Because we are the people for truth. The so called Hispanics, Native Americans. We are the chosen people of God according to history and according to the Bible. God has no respect for a person. Is that? He has no respect for a person. Where's that in the Bible? No, no, no. You don't, you don't gotta quote it to your, you know, verse in the chapter. You tell me a little bit of the verse, I'll find it for you when we read. But we studied the Bible a lot. Does God have a chosen? I'm sorry? Does God have a chosen people? God does have a chosen Who's his chosen people? Isaiah 44 verse 1. Let's get out of the Bible. Let's get out of the Bible. I'm going to put it in Luke 168. We'll get it in the New Testament and the Old Testament. All right? We can sit here we can sit here for hours and go back from the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament is the New Testament that's here. The New Testament is the Old Testament that's revealed in the Old Testament. Thank you. That means you read the Bible. You understand I understand that. Yeah. Let's read that. Oh, we're going to get that scripture. The book of Isaiah chapter 44 verse 1. Read. Yet now, right. here, oh Jacob. Oh, who? Oh Jacob! Oh, what? Oh Jacob! Oh, doesn't say the whole world. All of mankind. Read. Oh Jacob! Oh Jacob, Israel. Read. My servant. My servant. That's possessive. Read. Right. And Israel. And Israel. Read. Whom I have chosen. Whom I have what? Whom I have chosen. Whom I have a what? Whom I have chosen. God chosen the so-called Negroes, Hispanic, and Americans, the twelve tribes of Israel. He didn't choose the Zidonians, the Edomites, the Philistines, the Ammonites. He only chose one people. And he said that he wasn't a respected person. Yeah, Exodus 2 25. 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 Exodus 2 25
have a relationship with God because I am of a Caucasian race? We're gonna, we're gonna get there. Exodus 25, because we did make a statement. God is not a respected person. Yeah, right. Right? Let's get out of the Bible. Exodus 25. The Exodus chapter 12, verse 25. And the most high looked upon the children of Israel. God, who? Looked upon the children of Israel. God looked at the so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Three. And the most high had respect. He had what? Had respect. He had what? Had, had respect. You say he didn't have respect for persons. The Bible said he what? Had respect. Respect, me. Unto them. Unto them. Not in the same way. Unto them. Yeah, now you said you can't have a. He has you said that. No he, respect for a person doesn't mean he doesn't respect people. I thought you said he didn't have respect to persons. He, ha he is no respecter of persons. Then why is Israel the chosen people then? Who is the, who is the true Israel of God? What did Jesus Christ come here to do? Yeah. Psalms 50, 16. Let's get Psalms 50, 16. Time out. Go right there. Go right now. You got the four. You got the four. You got the four. I just want to know what. I, I see you have a, is that a Jewish uh, pendant on your on your neck there. What is that? The 12 stones. That's that's the breast of a priest. Of a the Levitical priest. priest. You're from a tribe of Levi according to the Bible. The priesthood came from one tribe, yes. Now, let's get the scripture with you. Psalm 50, 16. Because this is all new to you, I'm, I'm assuming. But you seem like you're reading the Bible. Oh, I know. Right? About it, yeah. But let's get Psalm 50, 16. Let's get your book. Please call The book of Psalms, the 50, verse 16. Right, right. God to the wicked. Right. God said, right. What hast thou to declare my statutes? Because every nation outside of Israel are the people. Are the nation, are the wicked upon the earth. Right? Okay, let me finish the book. Let me go after that. Read what has thou to declare my statue? God said what you have to do to declare a statue. The law of God, the word of God was never given to the Edomites. That's what the word never given to the biblical Edomites. That's who you are. You mean? Or is that, right? that thou shouldest take my covenant. That thou may take God's covenant to get to the Israelites. You mean? In thy you mouth. Got the you got the floor right after this. You mean? In thy mouth. In thy mouth. You're not even allowed to declare the word of God. Because it was given to that laws that God was given to Israel. Go ahead, cut the floor. Are we not Jews inwardly? Are we not grafted into that vine to Jesus Christ? What verse is that? It's in the it's in the word of God. I can't give you the word the verb. You cast the verb right now. But were we not grafted in through by grace after the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Are, are, are you talking about the priest going to address it? But you gotta understand that the Bible was written by the Hebrew before the Hebrew. Right? When you look at um the Old Testament, right? Right. What language was it translated out? Uh, uh, it was translated out of the Hebrew and the original tongue. Right. Right? Give me Romans 15, verse 4. Because what you understand, sir, when you read the Bible, right, hold on. Before every great kingdom was destroyed, what did the Heavenly Father do? He said a prophet, right? So now, we're the same ones that are uh, waking up the people, letting them know that Christ, okay, a man of color, a lot of people say it doesn't matter what color it looks like, but the true identity of the Messiah was hid from generation to generation. And that's why he said, when he come back, every eye shall see him, right? I right. read that. Look at the woman, chapter 15, verse 4. Come on. For what sort of things were written a fourth time? For what things were written a fourth time in the past, come on. For written for our learning. For what? For our learning. Right, so a lot of people, they go to church. Because a lot of people have a zeal for the Heavenly Father. They want to serve God. But guess what? You got a lot of preachers and pastors are playing up with people's emotions to make oh, money. Oh, it's but all they're, about not, money. they're not teaching the truth to me. They're not teaching the truth to me. Exactly. In America so that's today. why we're here to enlighten you oh, to give you the truth. Okay? Because, the last, because these are the last days, brother. COVID 19 was a curse, it was a plague from the Heavenly Father. Okay? Read that. The book of St. John. Chapter 8, verse 32. Mm -hmm. And ye shall know the truth. And what? And ye shall know the truth. So a lot of people in these last days, they profess to know the truth. Give me truth. Psalm 119. A lot of people oh profess God. to know the truth. But can everybody have the truth? That word is true. The word is true, right. So we have to go according as it's written. Not, not with our own emotions. Right. Not what I feel. Right. Not what you feel. But the words of the heavenly right. Father. Let his that, word be that, true. But every man a liar. Read right. right. that again. Oh, I know it, brother. The book of St. John, chapter 8, verse 32. Come on. And ye shall know the truth. What? And ye shall know the truth. Wait, so a lot of people can't handle the truth. That's why when we come out with the word, they want to debate the word. We're, we're having a simple concord. We're not, we're not arguing with you. This is the con, uh, you know, a, a diverse concord that we're having regarding this word. Okay? Read. And the truth shall make 
make you free. So what? Shall make you free. So now a lot of people are on a spiritual bondage. Why? Because they're not being taught the truth of the heavenly exactly. father. Read yeah. that. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Mm -hmm. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Mm -hmm. And thy law is the truth. And what? And thy law is the truth. Right, so when the church is telling you that the, the laws of God were nailed to the cross, you don't have to keep the commandments. Is that, that's is, a lie. That's a lie, right? That's a lie. That's a lie. Give me Romans 7, verse 1. So everything we're telling you is, is strictly verbatim from scripture. From Genesis all the way to Revelation. You should read that. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 1. Come on. No, ye not. What? No, ye not. No, ye not. Come on. Brethren. Come on. For I speak to them that know the law. That what? That the know the law. So who are the laws of God given to? Psalm 1, verse 7, 19. Who are the laws of God given to? Who the old prophets? The prophet gave it to us. It was a particular people that was given to you. Read it. Look at the Psalms, chapter 178, verse 5. For he established his testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. So he said he showed his word unto Jacob. So we, if you know the story, Jacob's name was changed to Israel when he called the angel, right? So Jacob brought forth the 12 tribe of the nation of Israel. Who we are saying we are the descendants of the I think my phone has a bigger battery. Hopefully it lasts an hour. there has been a great uh, case of identity. Oh the white Probably got like 80%. Hopefully it has a Nubian, African American. All these names were given to them. The Bible said that you will be a byword and a proverb. Read that again. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He shall with his word unto Jacob. Unto Jacob, come on. His statutes come on. and his judgments come on. unto Israel. Unto who? Israel. Unto Israel. So let me ask you a question. You have certain movies like Roots, uh, 12 Years as a Slave, Mandingo, right? Now, according to your understanding, because I, I, I graduated from college, right? Now, they taught us that we want, that, that so-called Negroes went into slavery, right? To your understanding, because out of all nations of the earth, the Chinese, the Japanese, the white man, the East Indians. How come only our people can even slave you? Are you able to, to, to um, no, respond to that? No, you don't I, know why. I can't. I can't answer that because but, I don't But, the, but, but the, the word, the answer is in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Finish reading. I'm going to show you that. That's fine. Come on. Let's talk. We're educated. We're educated. Come on, read. Give it to me one verse one. He have not done so with any nation. The Bible says he have not done so with any nation. Come on. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. So now we're going to give you Exodus 24, verse 12. So you're going to find out that the Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we were given the laws in the Bible that we break. So now, you have children? Now, do you punish your child because you hate them or because you love them? Because you love them. So the same thing with the Heavenly Father. We were given commandments through Moses to the Israelites. So we broke those commandments. So he told Moses, he said, warn the people of Israel. If they keep my commandments, I will bless them. If they break my commandments, I'm going to curse them. Guess what? We broke the commandments. And we were cursed. We were put into slavery. Okay, read that. Read that. Get that. The book of Exodus, chapter 24, verse 12. Come on. And the Lord said unto Moses. Unto who? Unto Moses. Unto Moses. Now, let's, let's, let's stop there. Moses was both tried. The tribe of Levi, right? Okay. The nation of Israel, right? Did not Moses grow up in Pharaoh's uh, kingdom? Now, what color were the original Egyptians? They were black. Now, we have a, uh, we have some people say, walk around saying that they're Jewish. And if you understand anything about the the um, American English language, the suffix "ish" means what? Pertaining to. Like if I ask you what time is it, you say, well, it's 12-ish. You're saying what? Like around 12. It's around 12. It's not really 12. It's around 12. So they're saying we're not really Jews. We're taking on the custom of the, the Jews. Okay? So now we are witnessing identity. Okay? They stole our identity, but before, but the Most High is revealing this knowledge in these last days. That's why you see it said what? In the last days, the knowledge shall increase. Because a lot of people are not going for uh, what this government is teaching us. Right. Okay. But for years, what you a lot of people have have been disrespecting God's chosen people. Okay. Even though we were placed 
like when you put back to the thing on punishment, you place your child on punishment. That's still, you still love that child, but they have to finish out their punishment. Right. So while we were being punished, we were being violated, disrespected by the other nations that are upon the earth. Right. But the most high God is gonna, he's gonna recompense them. Okay, read. No disrespect, let me check. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 24, verse 12. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Moses. Said to who? Unto Moses. Unto Moses, a so-called, because Moses brought the Pharaoh's kingdom, right? And he passed for an Egyptian, right. right? So what would that tell you? That Moses himself had to be a so-called black man. Okay, read. Come up to me and to the mouth. Come on. And be there. Come on. And I will give thee tables of stone. Come on. And a law. And a what? And a law. And a, and a, and and a law. law. So we were never given religion. We were given laws and the commandments when our people break. But I'm going to show him and give you one quick thing. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. says he's got to go. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And I'm going to show you that, that the Bible prophesied. And prophesied that we would go into slavery because of our disobedience. Read that. Look at Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Are you familiar with the word Egypt means? No, I do not. Hold that. Give me that. It means slavery. Yeah. It means bondage, right? Well, read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, why does it say again? When we, how did the, the, how did the, the, um, the ancient Israelites, how did they go into Egypt? Jacob and the seven souls, they walked into Egypt. Remember? Okay. They walked into Egypt. We'll read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. A what? Again. Again, meaning what? A second time. Okay, come on. With ships. With what? With ships. With ships. So we know that the ancient um, Egyptians, they walked into Egypt by foot. But the Bible says that we will go into Egypt a second time, but this time with cargo slave ships. Okay? So now when you do history, the only people that went in slavery by, by wearing cargo slave ships are the so-called Negroes. But we were taught that what? We were taught in school that Africans saw Africans. That wasn't true. It was Africans selling black people into slavery. Because remember in the beginning, it said man was born from the dust of the ground, different shades of brown. Okay, read on. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, Thou shalt see it no more again. Talking about a homeland, when we came in a public slave ship, we have not been able to go. So when they see a so-called black man, well, if you don't like it, get out of here, go home. But we were brought here by force. Right. We didn't come here voluntarily on uh, American Airlines or Air Jamaica or anything like that. We were brought in voluntarily. Okay, come on. And there ye shall be sold. And what? There ye shall be sold. And there you shall be sold. Many of the places that you see were what? Were auction blocks. Okay? And who were we sold unto? We were sold unto your people. Okay? Read that again. And there they shall be sold what? unto your enemies. Unto your what? Unto your enemies. You see, I don't I don't think I don't think that the church they're not they're doing you an uh, 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 injustice by teaching you wrongfully according to the Bible. Because now you're not able to embrace the real children of the most high God of the Bible. So now when you can accept your past, then you'll be able to understand the future. There will be a place for you in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? There will be a place for you. You will be the servants under the nation of Israel. That will be your, that is due justice. Okay? The nations of the Bible were created to serve the nation of Israel. But we're not gonna we're not gonna do the rigor. We're not gonna do like you did like they did us in this kingdom. Okay? Make homosexuals out of the men, rape the women. We're not gonna do all that. We're gonna, we're gonna keep the laws and the commandments of the heavenly father, okay? As it is written. We know. And there you be shown unto your enemies come on. for bond men and bond women. See, a male slave and a female slave, right. come on. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy me, no man shall save you. You have Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, okay? Uh, Marcus Garvey, they all try to do what? Save the people, but the only one that's gonna save it is Christ. Okay, the Masha Yahweh Shai, He's going to come back and redeem us out of the hands of our enemies. So tell your friends, the real children of God are here. We're here to tell you that the time is near. America's going to be destroyed to repent, come back to the commandments, okay, and get in line. Because the new world order is going to be under Christ, a so-called black man, okay? The 12 disciples, everything is going on. Right. Take care of them. Nice meeting, all right?